okay let me share my screen so last class uh, last class we discussed right so where are you yesterday class if you go to here deployment of deployment already done right deployment object mm, yesterday we discussed which one so rolling update what is the deployment strategies so what which deployment process we are following okay so deployment uh, so types deployment strategy two types right one is rolling update second one is recreate one one is rolling update second one is recreate so rolling update means uh, even if you are not mentioning a uh, default which is the default one rolling update which is the default one rolling update <laughs> slowly it will remove the older replacing the older parts once a new part is ready and uh, type equal to so type equal to strategy type equal to so strategy type equal to recreate recreate means immediately it will delete the old parts delete the old part replaced by new part that's it and also last class we seen right what is blue and green deployment green is nothing but uh, so running version that is uh, everything working fine our customers are working uh, using uh, so blue green and if you deploy <laughs> if you if you deploy deploy any new version so directly won't give access to customers first we are giving assign to qa team once qa team is uh, so sign up accepted and slowly we are removing the uh, green and we are pointing to blue so that is the green and blue deployment so last class we discussed this one right anyone any doubt here clear guys clear. yes sir. okay very very important so interview uh, many cases they asked uh, which deployment strategy we are following in kubernetes so now we can say rolling update or we can recreate so mostly we can say re recreate or sorry, rolling update so rolling means slowly if new is already old is automatically it will delete next uh, blue and green blue is green is nothing but existing version that is nothing but running version if you deployed any new version so directly we won't give customers first we are assigning to qa team once qa team is signed off accepted and uh, slowly we are move on the that uh, endpoint and we are uh, point out to new version that's it so this is the very very important now you know so what is replication set so all already you know now let's move on to so today we'll see uh, what is uh, so what is uh, today we'll see what is uh, you know right pv and pvc not here uh, config map and secret this is also very very important config map and secret so suppose if we have any information confidential information so if we have any confidential information so last class we created one db right so last class we created one db last class or previous class mysql db i created right yes or no mysql yes, sir. so yes. while creating mysql there the db it is expecting uh, environment variables that is uh, what is that uh, root user root password database name username user name password so this information is uh, sensitive right confidential correct username password yes sir so how to handle how to maintain this data how to handle how to maintain this data confidential so now there is a one resource available in uh, so kubernet that is the secret and config map object config map maps and secrets config maps and secrets now both are same purpose only there is slight difference is there let's see how it will work see kubernetes allowed to provide configuration information to our application through config maps or secrets resource if we have any configuration information or if we have any you know right so some sensitive information so that is username passwords usernames password these are sensitive data right confidential data and any configuration data 
configuration information configuration information so this and all how to maintain so in kubernetes there is two objects one is config map one is config map and the second one is secret second one is a secret second one is secrets so second one is also second one is also secret so these are the two resources available in kubernetes now while creating db we add some extra environment variable hyphen hyphen env so we use right also kubectl kubectl run kubectl run my db my db and hyphen hyphen name equal to hyphen hyphen image hyphen hyphen image equal to uh, we given also my sql my sql colon 5.7 correct 5.7 and uh, so 5.7 while create while creating this container so the container keep on trying to restart right it is not uh, fully so that case uh, we added hyphen hyphen env hyphen hyphen env so that is a root user that is a root uh, we added something right so root uh, password uh, root password equal to we added some password same way hyphen hyphen env hyphen hyphen env so that is user password database username clear so these values and all already if you go that absolute image we can find it up.docker.com up.docker.com so if you go up.docker.com just search mysql db mysql db so mysql db so under mysql db this is official website so this is official website if you go down so already uh, last class we seen right see here this is a mysql database mysql root password mysql these are the environment variables see here we have to set otherwise it won't work otherwise it won't uh, connect right otherwise it won't connect the database and all so we set some uh, so we are giving some password root password okay and also we given uh, database we given some database mysql underscore database these are the environment variables we need to pass uppercase only so database my database or sql database whatever you okay so now here hard coded now got it yes or no env so your everything i hard coded now suppose if you don't want to pass here how to maintain where i want to pass here okay env so these are the i already i passed you know how it will work and all now this is hard coded or not so everyone can see right yes so that everyone can see now is there any security here srinad garu here security here no security everything we hard coded correct hard coded yes now so now kubernetes people they are giving us so two objects two resources config map and secret config map and secret so first we will see what is config map and secret see here both config map and secret store data as key and value pair so how it will store guys key and value pairs for example username equal to i am giving something same username i am passing dev apps see here and uh, password equal to pass password password equal to so dev apps now which is key which is user name this is a key this is a value this is a key this is a value so like this if you want to we can store data in key and value format key and value format the major difference between uh, so secret store data in the base 64 format config map store data in the plain format so what is difference between config and the secret it is stored into the data it is stored into the data plain text format which format plain text format so config map store data in the plain text format text format but if you come to secret it will store data into the base 64 format so what is basic for encode decode and all base 64 format so this is the main difference this is the main difference between uh, so this is the main difference between config and secret so config and secret now see here 
to secret store data in the base 64 format meanwhile config map store data in the plain text format if you want to store if you have any critical data like keys passwords account information credentials db connections so that information and all we can we should store into the we, can, we should store we should better to go for secret object rather than config rather than config so if you have any confidential data if you have any confidential data and if you want to store this type of data so which is the which is the usually which is the which is the good for secret object suppose if you have any plain data we can store which object config map object also config map object also but uh, secret object is stored data into the base 64 that is nothing but encoding and decoding even if you go google base 64 format base 64 if you go encode and decode okay how to encode and how to decode so there is a two ways we can do so this is the encode for base 64 and uh, so this is the encode and if you want to we can decode also if you want to we can decode also so we'll see first so this is the some basic information about so config map and secret object so anyone any doubt here guys so if you want to store any confidential data any configurations username passwords so mostly we should go for whether secret object whether config map object and both are same purpose only and based on requirement we can use anyone whether we can use <laughs> but uh, so confidential information and all like passwords and uh, credentials db connections uh, sensitive information and all we can store into the secret object and if we have any non-confidential information so that information and all we can store into the config map in config map data is stored into the plain text format in secret data is stored into the base 64 format which format base 64 format that is encode and decode so for example here i given some name right so here i given some name so here i given some name so this is the default so i want to encode this data so how to encode and all so this is the base 64 if you even click on this now see here if you type something if you type something for example username i given light so now see here this is the which format decode encode now it is generating one code so click on decode encode this is the encode so decodes your data into the area below so whatever data we are passing it is so same way uh, decode the base 60 format whatever you want we can here we can generate it this is the one way or if you have linux and all so directly we can use uh, so directly we can use so directly we can use let me lab so we can use uh, that is also we can use uh, via one command we have to encode and decode the encode and decode it so valid request back to home request if linux mission also we can use it mm, login github account github account start i need one linux mission i need one linux mission just i'm using see here how it will work see here this is a clear the screen and uh, so see here echo i given uh, my username i given my username this is i given sir and uh, so pipe symbol graph base 64 what is this ah graph led akkada directly base 64 yeah, yeah. now see here so here we are passing uh, so echo this is my actual pass username and uh, see here base 64 format by default it is generating uh, one uh, some uh, number dynamic number that is characters including numbers special symbols and all it is an uh, for example my actual password i given devops i don't want to give direct uh, so original uh, password i want to give so base 64 format now see here base 64 if you give links so this is the this is the actual password so this is the see base 64 format how it will work now got it sudhir sri sri now now here this is not so now we can use now this is some basic and all now how to create also secret object 
so if you want to create any secret object if you want to create a secret resource same api version so api version uh, tell me what is the api version v1 and kind what is the kind kind equal to secret kind equal to secret and metadata and name name you can give so my secret okay next so here so type equal to here we need to add some syntax and all we need to follow first we need to come here so api we can easily understand so kubernetes secret if you search kubernetes secret so this is the official website so see secret and object that contains small amount of sensitive data such as passwords token and all so simply if you want to understand so secret is the one object in your secret is the one resource in kubernetes and uh, so this object store contain sensitive information such as passwords tokens key and all okay now if you go down see here enable encryption and there is a lot of uses of secrets what is the main use case what is the main use case of secrets see here set environment variables for containers already we contain set variables right this is the i set environment variables i don't want to give like this so this and all we can set in the secret object provide the credentials such as ss key and passwords allow the kubelet full container image private key registers and all these are some now if you go here so this is the this is the see here api version v1 kind equal to secret metadata name equal to i given something data so we can pass we can pass which format base 64 format which format they passed base 64 format so already they given few examples we can now get it and also here types of secrets so the data and all we can store different ways see here when you create a secret object you can specify its type using type type of field what type of field we can use of a queue see here arbitrary user data define data or we can use any service account data we can use this token id or if you have any configuration files docker configuration files we can use docker cfg or if you have any json files we can use docker config json this is the type and if you have any basic authentication we can give credentials for basic authentication or if you have any ss authentication we can use this one and uh, this is the tls and this is the tokens these are the different type see here so there is many ways this is the syntax type equal to what type you want to opac queue or so or to user service account token or docker configuration or basic authentication there are many ways we can pass it see here if you go down so example they given see here data type equal to so they given type they mention what they mention service account token service account token whatever you want we can mention here whatever you want we can mention here next extra data under the data we can give this is the key and this is the value this is the key and this is the value so like this whatever you want we can pass it now here what is the example uh, now example we'll see how they are calling no example here secret cluster overviews config match secret cluster. okay now we'll write the same way same format type equal to so here we can use many ways right so i am going to use uh, so pack q this is the one type type equal to this is the type next i am using data so what is the data my data and uh, so here user name user name column username equal to so here we need to pass uh, so base 64 format and password see here password password equal to password equal to we can pass a uh, base 64 format now same thing so how to write how to create a uh, so secret object now go to here let me start my docker is my equipment is running or not and uh, so let me start whether it is not running and go to kubernetes now clear guys anyone any doubt so this is very simple only 
so if we enter also most of the people they asked what is the difference between config map and secret and uh, so how it will work okay i started and uh, so config and secret both are same only both are the resource if we have any confidential information and if we have any sensitive data like a username passwords or configurations data and all so we can go for uh, so config map or secret but in the config secret. map we can store only plain data but if we come to secret we can store sensitive username passwords and all with which format base 64 format who is asking someone is doubt anyone no no i told that uh, secrets uh, okay we now are we'll see so how to create a secret object so this is very simple only writing is very simple only so see here go to visual studio or we can write manually also so now cube secret if we type uh, so secret kind why it is not pod again i have to give file new file give so secret dot yml or yml and i saved so i saved i saved somewhere kubernet documents a new i saved here that's it create file so now see here control space bar and pod now not yet kind abc pod it is not auto populated i think it is daily it is facing some issues control it is not displaying uh, let me come to here already this is right uh, now here also it will come or not mm -hmm. secret uh, it is not displaying okay anyway so if you want to write uh, so this is the syntax uh, so this is the syntax uh, so what is the syntax uh, api version this is the syntax uh, api version v1 so how i know v1 if you don't know how to get it go to here go to here cmd and uh, cd space this is my directory kubernetes and uh, so dir and uh, kubectl kubectl api iphan version uh, resources right sou rcs resources now see here secret object what is the secret right now check it here whether it is v1 or uh, Secrets. Sir. See here. What is the API version? V1 only. Okay. V1. V1. API version V1 and kind equal to kind. Hmm. What is the kind? Secrets. Next. Metadata. Okay. Name. Name equal to. So my secret. Just I give one. Uh, secret. Next I give one. Uh, so secret. My secret. We can give any name next type equal to what type you want to use guys there is many ways we can pass it just now we discuss right uh, so many ways we can pass it so what are this uh, so this is the i am using uh, this is the one secret type uh, see here opac is the default secret type of if you don't explicitly specify the type uh, if you are not mentioning by default this one only but anyway i am mentioning also uh, opac next uh, data next uh, under this we have to use data also under this we have to use data so here types of secrets right so if you see example how they are using data okay now if you go here if you go here type equal to pa opac q u e next data colon uh, so data colon so what is the username for example uh, my username username uh, which format we have to pass guys here base 64 format right for example my actual username devops 123 devops 123 sorry username for example my username also dev user this is my username password this is my password so devops devops 123 at the rate symbol okay so if you pass like this first i am saving this one copy this one 
now show i will show you how it will work i dev apps user and all now go to here uh, go to here clear tls uh, notepad 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 my secret secret dot secret dot yml just paste it okay so that's it file save close it how to run it before run cube ctl cube ctl cube ctl get i want to see secret objects whether existing sc secret secret now see here so there is a one secret is available let me delete this one cube ctl delete cube ctl delete secret sc secret and secret name so this is already one secret available so just delete it deleted that one now check it cube ctl get the secrets do we have any secret guys no see here no i deleted let me create uh, run my secret uh, what is the file name cube ctl apply iphone f what is the file name my secret correct that is the file name just now i created one file right yml file no matches kind secret version secrets secret or secrets what is the object name secret not secrets sorry i added extra so go to here notepad notepad my secret okay here this is the object type of error secret not secrets so only secret kind equal to secret control s save now run this file cube ctl apply till secret cannot be handled secret illegal base 64 at the input byte see here spelling spelling typo error my c s c r e s c c r e t notepad my s my secret file typo error file name yes file name wrong s c c r e t yeah s c r e t my this is a file name one right where is that my src correct one right this is file name okay cr uh, correct only notepad notepad my secret check here is there any problem or not so api version correct only right so api version api version v1 api version v1 kind <laughs> equal to secret <laughs> metadata name equal to we can give any name this is your abc Okay. whatever you want we can give type equal to okay. opac okay. data username equal to this is this is username that's it so that is your wish whatever you want we can give and i had create card in the content no then convert just but let's do base 64 like mark at the l that is the tie as cube ctl apply iphone f my secret now see it is showing error when creating uh, this is my file name we can give any file name don't confuse here secret in the version v1 cannot handle secret illegal base 64 data at the input now got it so there now got it so now we given uh, so actual format now how to generate this one base 64 format now go to here already here i given right line extension and all so now echo echo uh, what is the username i given dev user right dev user and which format i want to generate base 64 now got it see another copy this one control copy now go to here and uh, now edit so va notepad now see here i am go to here dev user right just face it sorry it is not copied 
go to here copy how to copy go to keyboard and i want to control insert control insert minimize and uh, go to go to here go to here just paste it now same way dev apps one two three at right dev apps one two three at generate this one encoding format echo dev app one two three at base hmm. base 64 now it is generating copy uh, copy this keyboard right actually reset key is not done control insert minimize and uh, go to here where is this go to here i am pasting here now got it not copied or not it is not copied okay keyboard so base control insert okay copied now minimize this one minimize this one now this one paste it both are same yes both are same okay leave it whatever it may be now anyway we'll try to run it mm, now i saved so now this is which format base 64 format i updated file save file save that's it now rerun it cube ctl apply cube ctl apply now see here earlier we are getting one error message what error message it is getting so we are using secret object in secret object we are passing a key and value format the value don't pass don't pass text format we have to convert in which format see cannot handle it as a secret illegal base 64 hey you passed some value but that is not base 64 format you given actual text format you given actual text format now got it guys now what i did whatever username password that username password i converted to which format i converted to which format base 64, base 64. format now it is yeah. created now check it cube ctl cube ctl get secret cube ctl get secret see what is my secret name abc what is my secret name abc now if you go here cube ctl cube ctl describe cube ctl describe describe secret secret name abc now if you see here if you see here so what is the data password can you see password in config map i am going to type same data we can see it now see here it is showing like 8 bytes username also 8 bytes so can you find any data here now username and password ni find out cheyacha cheyalem ikkada no right clear see password it is showing 8 byte what is this 8 byte we don't know right username 8 bytes clear so there clear type equal to yes sir. now same thing i am going to convert as also config object now how it will work now see here config okay config map cubonet example now i am going to config map this is also same only this is also same only now let me copy and paste it now see here here i given find equal to config data i given some data now same thing copy whatever you want so copy whatever you want now i am coming to here so notepad 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 my config my config dot yml my config dot yml so i my config dot yml click on this just paste it now see here same api version v1 find equal to config metadata so whatever you want my config this is the name 
my config map okay now data so here whatever you want we can pass it so whatever you want we can pass it so here actually they given uh, three or else simply i am giving or else simply i am giving user name okay user name same dev user password password so dev apps one two three just i given now see here very simple so if any text data and all we can save into the config map object file save remaining story same only i am not but here no need to convert base 64 format save now if you observe here if you observe here my kubectl kubectl apply hyphen f my config so config is created config map is created now check it kubectl get config what is this config map right cube ctl get now see here my config is created my config is created so see here 18 seconds ago now see here cube ctl describe describe config map and my config map config map this is my name now if you see here what is the username guys username artham avutunda secret key config map ki difference yeah so yeah. here anyone if you open the that object they can see my username password yes but if you if you save username password in secret can you see my actual username password no no that is the main difference between uh, so any text data we can mm-hmm. store into the config map yeah. if we have yeah. any confidential data if we have any seek info in you know uh, some sensitive data like username passwords uh, and any configuration information so that and all we can store into the secret yes. if we have any plain data this is not confidential uh, so there is no problem so that data and all we can see now we can see here data so what is my username password so dev apps 1 2 so dev this is a username so dev user here i given what is the so name config map so now we can see my data but if you go to secret that is the encoded format we cannot see actual data so we need to decode again we need to decode again now got it guys anyone any doubt here now what is difference between config map and secret Yeah. so if we have enter also uh, most of the people they are asking what is the config map object what is secret object and what is difference between config map and secret now i hope you got some idea right so if we have any critical data or if we have any username passwords or if we have any sensitive data credentials database connections so that data and all we should we should always get to go for secret object if we have any plain text data see here store data in the plain text format so if you don't have any confidential or no problem so this is the regular data this is the text format so that data and all we can store into the config map object syntax is very simple only syntax is very simple only so only four lines see api version so api version v1 this is also same v1 and kind kind equal to config map what is this config map next uh, metadata 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 means we have to give any name name equal to my config whatever you want config okay this is a name we can give a b c x y z also now data so now we can store your username passwords and all whatever you want we can store it okay whatever you want we can store it so see password okay test test password okay whatever you want env okay uh, environment in env environment okay so for example development now i given some data now copy this one go to here notepad 
my config my config and uh, just uh, whatever you want we can paste it or else we can update here also so this is a key development okay whatever you want so this is the dev user password development save and uh, so run it kubectl apply hyphen f my config so now kubectl get kubectl hmm, kubectl describe describe crib describe config map and what is the config map name my config that's it now see here so what is the username password environment development password whatever you passed username whatever you passed but the same data if you store into the secret object that is encoded format okay we cannot see directly again we have to decode it encode decode clear so this is the very very important and uh, so how to use it anyone any doubt guys here clear sudhir clear yes sir yes, yes sir now already you know already you know so yesterday last class i created some mysql db in mysql db i passed some parameters env equal to root password env equal to database name env equal to username env equal to password and all so that is hard coded mm. now so how to how to avoid that one how to avoid that one now if you go to here if you go to here dir and also uh, notepad notepad vi notepad notepad uh, sc hyphen test if you go here if you go here if you go here uh, here i am using some uh, see here find find deployment here see here i am using uh, one object secret object so now here i passed see here find equal to secret metadata equal to name equal to spring app secret type equal to opaq data equal to mongodb username which format i passed guys base 64 format which format i passed base 64 format and this is my deployment object this is my deployment object here if you want to call this username passwords actually my username password and all secret object and this is my deployment object this is my deployment object <coughs> if you want to call this username password it is in secret right correct this is a secret my username i passed here my password also i passed here base 64 format this is the deployment object so how to call this username password in your deployment object now got it so now for this db i have username password i have username password so username password i configure secret object i configure secret object now this is my db this is my db database so this is my mongo db and here how to call that one so how to call that one so if you want to call so this is the syntax guys this is the syntax env env is nothing but don't confuse here here i passed env right hyphen hyphen env i give one hard coded env env equal to database database name env equal to my mysql username i give one env equal to this is the username password database root password and all same thing how to configure I we want to avoid this this way. I want to configure in configuration file. So if you want to configure, this is the see here. So here I given one name, secret object name. What is the secret object name, guys? Spring app secret. What is the name I given? Spring app secret. Now if you go here, now see here. This is the syntax. Env. If you want to call in our any configuration file env hyphen name mongodb username value from so i want to read data from which object this is the syntax value from secret key reference secret key reference what is the secret name 
this is your secret name now key this is the key what is your key name guys if you go here same name copy this one copy this name username and paste it here that's it now clear guys here anyone any doubt so i want to read my username this username from where you want to read which object db username already i configure somewhere right i i assigned my username this username where i assigned in secret object i stored my db username password that is different as a resource kubernetes resource in your uh, so in our file in our file in configuration file how to call that value how to call that username password if you want to call username password this is the syntax env hyphen name so the same syntax now if you go to here see here if you go to here now see here env same this is the syntax env hyphen name so mongodb username here mysql right here we are using mongodb username value from these values where this values available guys value from secret key reference so this value is coming from which object arthamatonda sinad gar is it so see, value from key secret key reference if you go here what is my secret key reference guys first secret object name what is my object name spring spring app ref, secret see here spring app secret key and if you go to here what is the key name username copy this and just paste it here that's it so this is the username and same way hyphen name password same story value from secret key reference name which object your secret object name and key equal to so this name so like this if you want to call if you want to call so we need to configure in our so configuration file so value from secret key reference enter also one or two people they asked so you stored username password in secret or config map so how to read how to call how to call that data how to call that username password in our deployment object in our deployment file so now tell me syntax value from what is the syntax value from secret key reference secret name key name only four lines we have to remember value from value from it is coming from secret key reference i am calling from secret key reference what is the secret name this is my secret name what is the key name in the secret object this is the key name in secret object now same way value from secret key reference name equal to and key equal to that's it now got it anyone any doubt here So they are clear. Suppose if it is config map object, how to configure? Yes, so same story. So here we are using a secret key reference, right? Config map reference. Config, config, config map key reference. Config map key reference. Now if you go here, so how to call that one? Same story only. Now see here. if you go here this is the data right how they are calling this file now see here uh, version create image no data so key reference kind this is the key and how they are calling meta data this is also data how they are calling now we'll see somewhere they are using set see here config map key 
uh, see here value from so value from suppose if you want to read data so instead of this uh, we need to use a secret secret key reference right so we have to change config map reference uh, here config map key reference uh, remaining story same only remaining story same only now got it remaining story same only remaining story same only suppose now data is coming from which object guys here now data is coming which object ee data anedi ekkada nunchi vastunadi which resource hmm? hello Uh, data account is the key and values, username, password, which, which object, secret object, right? Secret, Suppose yes, yes. if your data in config map object, same syntax, only we have to change config, 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 map, key reference, that's it, only one line, remaining story, same only, name equal to, key equal to, so, here is the new config map object name. Is so, here key equal to that key name. Whatever data available in config map. So, that name we have to pass here. That's it. This is the syntax. So, this is the syntax. We have to remember this syntax. So, if anyone is asking, we have to four lines only. Value from. We are reading data from config map key reference and name key name key i hope you got it right very simple so this way you can read it so now if you want to see i can go to here just see how it will work now go to here where is my okay now cube ctl cube ctl delete all hyphen hyphen all now i'm deleting existing resources and all now so clear the cls clear the screen this is the file notepad notepad and uh, so sc iphone test secret so this is the already this is my secret object this is my secret object and this is my deployment object and this is my db service object i created one service object and this is the mongodb this is the mongodb here i call it my username password and all in this db I call it my username password in the DB. So I call it username password in the DB. That's it. Now let me run this file. How it will work? See here. Cube CTL apply iPhone app SC underscore test. Now see here it is created one persistent value. You don't know. Next class I will explain. And it is created one secret object. It is created one deployment object, one service object one replica set one service object two service one deployment one replication one secret one persistent now see here cube ctl get parts now see here how many parts are running see here two parts are running this is the application parts this is my application this is my db this is my db and so it is pending it will take time now check it so this is my db so these two are related to my application front end and this is my db if you are not running uh, we will see what is the problem and all we can debug it so we can debug it memory problem or some any configuration problem we can check it so mostly this is the mini cube right so that is the problem it won't run that is the problem it won't run <laughs> so my understanding uh, so this is the only one right cube ctl get nodes i have only one node right so in one node uh, so i have to execute all db as well as my application my application already running so might be db is not running that is the problem now check it how to debug it guys cube ctl describe hmm. or logs hmm. nothing Describe cube CTL cube C cube CTL describe mm. what is this pod pod name MongoDBRS pod 
check it what is the problem now problem is see here now we can understand so this is the mongodb so this is your name this is the namespace default namespace label name and all duplication this is the image mongodb this is the port number this is the environment so username root user set mongodb username in the secret object okay mongodb password also we set in the secret object okay now go down if you go down this is a problem see here events this is the problem so warning of failure to schedule default scheduler 0 by 1 nodes are available so here only one node is there e one node one pod has been unbound immediate so persistent volume climb so it seems to nodes are available one prompt to result. so that is a there is no extra node to deploy this to create this to create this db to create this db so that is the problem now we are using only mini cube right this is the only one node it is acting as master it is acting as worker node also now application is running db is not running okay if you remove the application db is creating we can create it so that is but not a problem everything working fine so here there is no extra node to deploy the to create the container db container to create the pod and container in specific node so that is the problem so if i remove if i remove uh, your application now db will create db will create now cube ctn clear guys anyone any doubt here cls notepad notepad now i'm using uh, what is this sc1 iphone test first i need to copy right sc notepad sc now copy this one if you want to create only db we can create it just try it your side notepad so sc1 iphone test.yml test.yml so here just paste it just paste it okay now if you go here now this is a persistent i don't want uh, this one deployment hmm. i am going to deploy only mongodb secrets and this is a service object and uh, so and this is a service spring this is also no need here this is also no need here now persistent storage if we call any persistent and all value mount we are using that's one that's it control s just try it now i'm removing a deployment i don't have many nodes right so cube ctl apply iphone f sc1 test now see here cube ctl get parts still it is picking i removed right which one i executed uh -huh. i think still it is not saved properly so cube ctl like this we can execute it cube ctl delete all iphone iphone all if you want to we can remove so if you want to we can remove and uh, so we can execute only db so last class we run right same command only so db but here i am using mongodb so last class i executed uh, mysql db last class i executed mysql db that's it i hope you got some idea right sudhir srikanthgar clear anyone any doubt here yeah, clear okay very very important we have to remember only four lines value from secret key reference name key that's it how to call secret username password in our manifest file in our configuration file so this is the syntax this is the syntax env this is the hyphen name that is the environment variable name and value from secret key reference name key that's it suppose if it is config map same config map key reference name equal to config map name and key equal to that key name that's it clear so that's it so that's it from my side 
and if you have any doubt we can ask and uh, so next class we'll see